Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Star Park Center. I'm so delighted to be joined by Motel who is a special friend of the New Filmmakers LA family and we're so happy to have your film here with us. Uh, but for those that haven't seen Over My Dead Body, let's take a look at a clip. I can't believe we're doing this. This is awesome. I'm very excited for me. It's like a dream. It's, you know, you it's know? so special because you've been part of the new filmmakers LA family for some time and we're so happy to have your film part of the film festival. You did such a brilliant job. Um, for those that haven't seen um, I Wrote My Dead Body, tell us a brief synopsis. Um, in very short, uh, Over My Dead Body, it's a story about a young Persian Jewish uh, woman from Los Angeles um, that uh, had like announced to her parents that her boyfriend, her fiance, is a Muslim. So, and then everything started to fall apart. It's the conflict between the two generations, basically. I, I, I mean, it was so funny, like that I love the opening moment where they're sitting at the table together and yeah. there's this this moment of like how you hope you think it may go and then all hell breaks loose basically. Um, so brilliant to watch, but um, tell us a little bit about the inspiration for you turning this particular story into a film. Wow, it's, uh, there is two answers to this question uh, because there is the personal, my personal side, my personal story and Obviously, the inspiration of me being here in Los Angeles. I'm not a Persian, and I moved here to Los Angeles. I like I was exposed to the Persian Jewish community, and it's huge. And this is part of the inspiration. This is why I decided to take uh, to paint my story in the Persian color because it, I think it's beautiful. It's very similar to where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. and. From if I'm taking this uh, this question to my private story, so I'm a grandchild of uh, immigrants, refugees from Yemen, I, Yemen and Morocco mm -hmm. um, that moved to Israel in the early 50s. So basically, I was raised in this clash between the conservative uh, values and the more liberal liberal world. Mm -hmm. And as a young woman. You know, I always thought that my grandparents and my parents that really were, you know, focusing what is the right thing for me and being a, a modern woman raised in a very democratic and liberal environment outside of the house mm -hmm. was, you know, uh, creating. I always thought that they are trying to harm me to do yeah. to, you know, they are mean. They don't understand me. What's going on? Like, yeah. And but I think in my age right now, mm -hmm. I'm trying to make kind of a peace yeah. between uh, try to understand where they are coming from. Mm -hmm. They were immigrants. They were a new. They are coming from a third world countries mm -hmm. with a very specific culture, mm -hmm. and they were trying to you know protect me. Yeah. Um, but it was, this was the clash. This is the clash between Isfahan and her parents, you know. Yeah. Well, the, what was so fascinating about this story, I mean, it was just the way you painted this picture. Like, there was so much depth to it. Every character I wanted to know more from, every character had so many layers and it was, not everyone gets that right in the script or the writing or the performances, but you, you really did a great job. And I do actually, because it's such a wonderful ensemble cast, I do want to, go into the question of just tell us about your cast because my oh, wow. goodness, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was like everybody was so super talented and you could feel so much of each of the characters. So it, obviously, you know, it's a heavy dialogue uh, script mm -hmm. and you must, you must nail the performance. You can't have, uh, and you need also to, to believe as the, audi the audience must to believe that right. they are a family at the end of the day. So yes, it was challenging. My natural feeling was looking for a Jewish Persian actors, 
but it was very challenging. They are <laughs> all uh, businessmen, doctors. I couldn't find uh, a real like actors that can relate it to the story. But it was also a process for me. You know, at the end of the day, actors can relate it to car tests, no matter where they are coming from. Mm -hmm. What is their personal story? And my cast is. Uh, most of them, they are from all the religions. They are Muslims, they are Christians. We have just one Jewish uh, in this story. And it was a challenging, it was very mm -hmm. challenging to find them. And and you did a great job. And I'm you. just curious as a director, because as you say, it was very dialogue heavy. Yeah. There was a lot of dialogue. And by the way, fantastically written, like Thank really, you. really good. I mean, you know, you had, it, was, it was so wordy. There were so many thoughts and feelings. When you're trying to kind of raise the stakes of those individual moments, like how do you work as a director? I mean, is it, is it kind of a, a play? Is, you know, do you let them rehearse? Like, how do you get that energy up? Because it just works so well. So even for me, I had to go through this process. At the end of the day, you write something, you have something, you have a vision in your head. You, I see, when I write it, I'm writer, director, but I write to myself. Mm -hmm. So when I write something, I imagine how it sounds, what will be. And there is so many layers of emotions and each character has his own emotional arc here, you mm -hmm. know? And at the end of the day, you don't want like five characters shouting from the beginning until the end. Mm -hmm. You need to ma make this puzzle right. Mm -hmm. So during the rehearsal, first I rehearse with each, each one of them separately. And during the rehearsal, when we rehearse together, I could see the picture wh when it's too much, when you need to take something back, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's something that I used, we used to rehearse. I used to, uh, you know, make a video of it and sit at home and think about who will push, when they will push, you know, and then work separately with them. And mm -hmm. when we came on set, um, they were very prepared and you, I, I had like code words for them. They when to push, how to do. I didn't, you know, I kept some secrets between me and the actors mm -hmm. that they will have their, like, they, they could pull out reaction from mm -hmm. each other in some moments. Mm -hmm. But uh, this was the process. Like, I hope I answer you. Yeah, you like, did. No, know, you did. It was just, I'm always interested in the journey of how you, you know, got, got them to perform the way it they It is did. challenging mm -hmm. at the end of the day because you have five characters, so many emotions, so mm -hmm. many drama. And you don't want to make it too melodrama, no. you know? So I think uh, I thought what was also really, really, really clever of how you wrote it as well was just you really took a very unbiased opinion. You you took it from you you, you showed the layers from all sides, from all perspectives, from the different generations to different traditions to the modern day, you know, person of the of the age of the main character to how it feels for your parents. You know, all of those different changes, yeah. like, was that something that was important to you in terms of the writing too? Yes, and I think it's related to your first question as well. For me, it was like, for me, it was kind of a piece with my past because I was a rebelist yeah. uh, when I was young, you know? Yeah. I re rebel everything because I thought that everything is wrong, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, I was okay, no, it's okay. Um, yeah, good, good, yeah. Good. I, I was, uh, for me, everything, I tried to rebe rebel, mm -hmm. it's the right word. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything as a, as a young woman. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to put the parents as the bad, mm -hmm. the evil, and her as the angel. Obviously, mm -hmm. I'm taking a side here as a woman, mm -hmm. as a liberal woman, mm -hmm. and someone that believed that we, we should, and we it's we are in 2021 we yeah. need to be in a different position absolutely but during the journey of making this film and writing this screenplay i interview uh, the persian uh, community mm -hmm. like i i interview the fathers the mothers the sisters the brother everybody and this journey made me understand that the parent doesn't come from a bad place they want her to have the best this is what they know this yeah. is the this is how they grew up at the end yeah. of the day yeah. and you know, so it, it was important for me that you will have empathize, mm -hmm. you know, empathy for the parents mm -hmm. and understand where it comes from, mm -hmm. you know. Absolutely. Yes. What, I mean, looking back on making this film um, and, and all the kind of context that it had with the film, what did you want your audience to take from your film? Oh, this is exactly the, the, the ending of the, this uh, answer. Uh, two things. Uh, the first one that maybe this is a Persian Jewish uh, film, but uh, 
families are families and it is such a universal story and everybody can relate it and we all have it you know this is taboo in culture at the end of the day you can she could announce i'm gay she could announce something else that the parents will not accept it and and this is this is families are families no matter if you are rich if you are poor where you are coming eastern europe uh, asia it doesn't matter we all have the same issues at the end and the second thing i want the both generation the young generation and the older generation will sit in the at the in the audience watch the film and understand that you know there is consequences uh, for everything and uh, they should understand the uh, each side should understand the, the other side and have a better dialogue, you know, and not immediately attack or, you know, um, you know, stand behind your yeah. vision. I, I hope they will have a better dialogue and mm -hmm. between the generation. Absolutely. And no, I think, you know, I think it raises a very important, um, you know, just family, human connection, you know, your, your relationships and, and how you just hope that as human beings, as families, as friends, as loved ones, that we can just move through, you know, move through yeah. these experiences and, you know, seeing that on film with your film, uh, guy, it was incredible. Like, I can't tell you how many aspects of the film I think was so important and so well articulated. Um, so leads me to the next question, Mattel, what is next? What is next for you? Okay, so I'm currently shooting a documentary uh, in Congo, in Africa, a very interesting one uh, about a politician. Uh, I can't uh, talk about it much, but uh, I hope it will end in the next two years. And I have a feature screenplay called One Way that uh, actually had very success uh, in many festivals. It was mm -hmm. finalist now in Rendance. It was second uh, um, around there in the, even in the Sundance development track. Wow. So I'm really excited about it. And we are raising, um, we are looking for investment here. Yeah. And the most important, Over My Dead Body, it's a kind of a proof of concept or a pilot for a TV series that's called the um, Moasa Polo. Mm -hmm. And we, over there, we will explore all the storylines, all the characters, all, it's the story of America. It's immigra immigrants, mm -hmm. you know, immigration families, uh, immigrant families that comes here with all these uh, uh, um, conflicts. So I'm well, excited about it. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to see the, all of the projects, but, um, but we're so grateful to have you at New Filmmakers Los Thank Angeles. Thank you, I'm excited. Like, you know, it's my honor to be here, you know, after so many years being a member. So many years and extra special that this film, you know, also is in partnership with the Academy of Motion Pitch Arts and Sciences, yeah. you know, that we do this every year, celebrating this, you know, beautiful part of the world with fantastic filmmakers. So, well done you. Thank okay? you, thank well you done. so much. Thank you for having me. Thank right? you. Honestly. I'm gonna tell everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.